this is severe MMA, and we're at SPG, but not the SPG, perhaps, that most of Severe's audience will be aware of. We're in SPG Manchester, and we're catching up with a few of the fight team here who have things coming up, and, and first, on, first on the list is Paul Douglas. Uh, you've had your Bama debut, you got that out of the way six or, six or seven weeks ago, and you know, an impressive performance, and here we are six days out from your second Bama fight against uh, Damian Frankowitz. Apologies if that's horribly wrong. You know, first off, how excited are you about stepping back into the cage? Because we know you like to stay busy. I can't wait now. Um, like you say, six days away. Um, just ready to get busy, busy. Um, get straight back in there. I, I don't like big, big breaks off. You know, I just prefer to keep ticking over all the time, keep busy and active. You know, seeing as you like to stay busy, the you know a weight cut is it has it been just a, a fairly simple matter of routine because of how busy you've stayed or. Yeah, fairly easy. I don't know if you know, but I've actually gone um, back to my, yeah. what I think is my, my right weight category now, which is lightweight, um, and, I, and I, I'm miles happier. I'm happier, I'm stronger, I'm sharper, just everything suits me at lightweight, miles better. Is it going to be a case that the lightweight division is now where you're going to sort of call home? Yeah, for, definitely for the time being, yeah, I, I think it's my weight division, and that's not meaning like an excuse to go eat a lot of crap, you know, <laughs> I'm still eating dead clean, but um, I'm, not, I'm not killing myself, I, 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 sh I didn't struggle making featherweight, but it was difficult, you know, yeah. it, it was hard, I'm definitely in the weight class where I want to be at the moment. And the lightweight division of Bama, you know, there's nothing to, nothing to sneeze at at the moment, you know, we've got to talk about the fight you've got coming up, but let's look at some of the the bigger sort of bigger fights out there with you know Dre Fletcher, you've got Jack McGann and Dia Casey fighting and stuff. It's a pretty stacked division. Where do you where do you see yourself now? And if I was talking to you in a couple of years' time, where would you see yourself now? I don't think it'll be long before I'm fighting them guys. You know, I, I, I don't think I don't think it matters what weight division you're going at. Bama, every every weight division, you know, there's always going to be tough guys in there. So. But, Lightweight or featherweight, I don't think it's going to be long before I'm going to be be right up there with them, you know. This is the long term goal for you. This is the career path for you. Yeah. And, and you, you, again, there's there's a variety of places you could turn uh, around Manchester. You know, then there's a, what brings you consistently back to SPG, and what is it about the SPG attitude that fits? I started with Carl. Um, I, I'm not. I, I say a different amount of years every time I get interviewed but it, it was a long time ago it must be I don't know between eight and ten years ago at the old gym and that wasn't doing the MMA that was just um pure Brazilian jiu-jitsu um, I, I love the way he coaches um, I love like the respect all the fighters he, he demands respect off the fighters and, and I like that kind of stuff um, and and yeah I've, I've, I, I don't see myself ever going anywhere else I think we, we've got the best gym in the country and you look at the lads who are, who are here and I think that just, just shows that, you know what we've got. Let's talk about Damien because obviously he's the guy on your radar in six days time. Um, you know, we've seen you compete a number of times. I've not been fortunate enough to see Damien. So we know you're going to bring pressure and you're going to bring some power to the, to the table. What are you expecting? Where do you expect Damien to be perhaps the most dangerous? What have you been looking at? I've only seen one of his fights, to be honest. So um, I, I know he's three and all, so he, he's unbeaten. He looks strong. Um, I think his wrestling looks good. Um, and I've only seen one fight, so it's difficult to, to yeah. say really. I'm just going to go in there. I've not got a game plan. I'm just going to go in there and, and see where the fight goes. I'm comfortable no matter where it goes, whether I'm on my back, whether I'm on top, or whether I'm standing. You know, I, I, it doesn't matter to me. You know. Again, when you when you face an opponent that you that you've been un, unable to do a lot of research in, and I would imagine that if the footage is available, Carl and, and company are quite yeah. They certainly do that work. Yeah. When when you prep for a fight like this, are you just prepping on developing your own skill set still and developing your strategy? Well, what's training entail for you? That's exactly what it is. Just improving my own game all the time because no matter who we've got everybody at this gym you know like every different fighting style so no matter who you come across whether it's a southpaw or a wrestler or a stand-up guy you're going to come across them in sp at sparring when we're, when we're training in the day and um, so it, it doesn't matter what his game plan or what he does you know my, my um all I'm interested in is developing my own game and getting better every single day I step in the gym 
you know, and it might be a little down long, but obviously, you know, Bama offered, uh, offered the, the Lonsdale title as well as the, 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 yeah. the Bama title. Is that something that you've got your sight? Is that sort of one of the targets in your near future, you know, yeah, in the next few fights? Is that what you want? Definitely. I think everyone in Bama wants, you know, that their aim is to be going for them belts. So, yeah, that, that's definitely like um, going to happen in the future. You know, I, I, I'm convinced it's going to happen, you know. Yeah. You've got to, you know, again, we talk about your fight and we've seen you fight a, a few times and you're always looking for the finish and more often than not, I think, you, you get it. Yeah. Is there any reason to suspect that that's going to change for this fight? Or are you going to be controlled aggression all the way through? Controlled aggression, I think the fi if the finish comes, it comes. If it doesn't, I win on points, you know, but it, it'll come, you know, the, if the finish is there, it will come, you know, and I, I don't look for it, but when that opportunity comes, you know, I'll take it. And of course, you know, training here at SPG, there's another lightweight who has a fight coming up in April. You've got Saul Rogers training here as well. How, how good is it to have sort of, uh, you know, guys like that to roll with and train and get yeah, ready for exactly. this Exactly. You know, like the the the, the guys who I'm spotting with day in day out, and the the ranked right up there in Europe. You know, as as two of the top lightweights about. So, and I'm and I'm training with with them every day, sparring with them every day. So, it, it's only going to bring my game on. You know, it's only going to make me better. And you know, a little, a little birdie's told me. I think it's out there, but and, you know, you're you like staying busy and you indeed going to because your name's been put into the hat for Bama Twenty in yeah, Burma. Yeah. Is, is can we? How 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 realistic we realistically can we expect that kind of turnaround for you? So if the fight against Damien goes the way that you expect it to, how, is this going to become a regular thing? You know, five weeks notice and you'll jump into the. Yeah, I think so because um, I'm in the gym every day. I, I, I stay fit anyway all the time. Um, yeah, and otherwise it, I'm only going to be sat at home anyway, so I may as well be out there in the cage, you know, and earning a living. <laughs> Paul Douglas, you know fighting next weekend and then booked in the fight five weeks after that you obviously want to keep this young man busy why he wants to keep busy you know he's taking this on as a new job he wants to work he likes fighting you know it's you know not like ego ah, i'm a, a killer he likes fighting he likes the process and i think he gets something out of the process the build-up the aftermath, you know, he's not partying straight after and taking weeks off. He's straight back with his family, he's a family man. He builds up the training, it gives him a sense of direction. He gets up there and fights, he faces the challenge and, and he grows. Every single fight I see him grow. And, it, and it too, it's about growth. He's just growing as an individual. He wants to fight, he's solving a puzzle, gets back in and you know, first he's like, yeah, beat anyone with strength. And he's like, he's taking that down a bit. Yeah, that's a big part of it. But you know, he is a knockout merchant, but he's like now he's looking at angles and ways to do that more efficiently. It's beautiful to watch, you know. The more he can fight, the more he's growing. Is is that what he came in he came in with he came in with the, the ability to knock people out and the toughness. What have you what about the ground game as well? Is that all SPG product? Is is does did he did he, yeah. did he grab that like he grabbed the stand up? Yeah, been with me from like when, well, been with us from Day one, um, and you know, I didn't even know who, who he was for three, four years. He'd come in, don't miss a session, he gets in the roles. He's a good training partner for me. He's got a good wrestling, I used to roll with him, you know, change partners. I roll with all the guys in the class. And they'd come to Paul, be like, oh, you're gonna get, you know, you get a good little scrap there. You know, he'd come at you and then, you know, it, to me, it's sometimes, it's seeing that wild factor in someone's eyes. You should, you know, when they show them one thing or when they get the realization of something and they go, ah, and you see him understand. And it could, you could be telling them for a few weeks, or it could be five years, and all of a sudden the, the penny drops. And to see that, that's payment for me. That's a good feeling, because it's like, and, you know, when they look at you and go, oh, shit, now I know what you were talking about. That's a great feeling, because I'm still trying to solve that puzzle on every yeah. single bit of the stuff. So it's, you know, it's like, it's like, it's mates. You're all doing the same thing. How long's Paul been with you from the beginning? He... he was in my old gym, so probably six, seven years. Maybe he's been around. Um, and again, but relationships, they're, they're a two-way street. As again, you've had people come and go and, and, and what have you. What is it about Paul that you think fit like a glove here? I don't know if it's something you did or if it's something he did. What was it about him that made him SPG? Doors go both ways. Yeah. He's welcome to come in, he's welcome to go out, and he's done that for years. He's yeah. come in, he's gone out. I'm the same, you know, we're here when we've got work to do. We go in, do our thing, he comes in, you say hi. You know, I'm here doing my job, it's his job. Say hi, you get on with your work, see you later. You go on to your families, you come in and that process just been going on. The more you see people around, the more you think, yeah, these guys are, 
you know, they're on it, he's got a work ethic, they'll just yeah. come in and do his stuff. A lot of the time I don't even notice him, he's always there. <laughs> yeah. They're the ones you want, you know, yeah. they're the ones that all of a sudden you turn around and you think, Jesus Christ, this guy's got good, you know? So, and you know, he's on the mat now with, he's a new pro, he's on the mat with veteran pros, 10, 15 fight lightweights, and he's giving them great spars, you know, and it's, you're just seeing, you know, it's, it's evolution. But everyone goes on about Paul, oh, he's so strong, He's so, you know, he's so powerful, he's so strong. That's not where it's at. Mm. What Paul is, is he's adaptable. He's intelligent and he's adaptable. He's not the strongest that survive, it's those that adapt. Yeah. That's the difference. So the, 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 the guys with the names, you know, like your Andres and your Collins, how, how many Bama fights do you realistically think that that's a way for you? Or would you take that fight tomorrow if it was offered? And... <laughs> yeah, it's, a, um, it's an odd question. I have thought about that, you know, and then, um, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've signed the five fight deal and, Maybe the back end of that five fight deal, I could be looking at them, or you know, it certainly won't be far off. I don't believe I'll be far off after this, after Bama twenty. That that would make me three and zero. I don't, I don't think I'll be far away. I don't think certainly I'll be far from off. that Lonsdale shot. Yeah, for sure. yeah, definitely, yeah. I, I, again, we, we, one of the reasons we we came, we came to SPG first is that, is that our colleagues, you know, they have a good relationship with with the SPG out of Dublin. Yeah. Do, do you guys ever? Is there ever any cross training? You know, because I know SPG is a family, but do you get it? Have you had a chance to train with the rest of the family? I personally have not been over to Ireland, but I've been there to seminars when John's come over here mm -hmm. and stuff. And Carl's obviously good friends with John Kavanagh and. Um, so that I, they're constantly probably in, in touch or would have thought, but I personally never been over there. Um, but I, I, I reckon I will do over the next, yeah. like this year I'd like to go over. I think there's a big SBG camp this year, so I'll, Do I'll you get that, that sense of tribe from the yeah, other? Yeah, every, is, is... every one of them, yeah. Yeah, even like the American um, SBG, you know, yeah, there's they, they that like... You're not going like, to thank me for this question. You're not going to thank me, but what is it that makes, what, what is the SPG mentality that travels, that, that, that can bring people from all parts of the world under a common call. What was it for you that made, was it Carl was, again, or is there something about the SPG philosophy in terms of fighting? I think um, for me personally, it, it was Carl because um, I, I like the way he coaches. I've been involved in high level sports all my life. I, I played, I was a good football player and played um, professional football for reserve teams and stuff. And, and I've seen a lot of good coaches, and and Carl, without a doubt, for me, he's, he's right up there in the some of the best coaches I've been trained by. Um, and again, the SBG philosophy, like the aliveness in the training and stuff, um, that that's massive. And I, and I think that's why people grow so good and, and so quickly. When you, when you because again, when people hear the name SBG, there's one name that they yeah. So you know, is that is that a blessing or or a curse sometimes? And I'm, I'm again, I'm not sure you're. I don't know. I don't, I don't mind. I think he's. Um, I think he's earned his name. <laughs> he's earned, right. earned his name, and I think it's good that he's getting that recognition. He certainly deserves it. And I don't look at it as um, a blessing or a curse, really. I think like we're all individuals, and it's up to us to go out there and and, and perform. You know, and we can't live off like Conor McGregor's yeah. name. You know, we we've got to go out there and perform ourselves. And that's what you've got to do this Saturday again for you know. For Damien, for the people who we've seen you for, we know what you're going to bring to the table. For those that haven't, just tell us what they can expect out of Paul Bennett. A powerful lightweight and um, looking for the knockout. <laughs> Can't get it. Well, maybe not looking for it, but you know, it will come and more than likely I think I'll get it. Do you, you see a finish in this? Is that where you, yeah, is that, is that the ambition you'd like to finish? I think so. I think in all my fights, I think I've only ever gone the distance once. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I see the finish, I think, yeah. First or second round. Bama 19, it's next week. It's the 28th of March, it's in Blackpool, and Paul Douglas will be taking on Damien. I'm not even gonna try and murder his last name. The knockout's coming. Bama 19, Paul Douglas is coming. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, Cheers Steve. for your time. Thank you, Dave.